better that way. Okay, that's in sync in case you didn't recognize it. And. Boo! Backstreet Boys for life! For life! I'm sorry, who's still a band? We're in it for the music, not for the money. Ooh. That's right. That's a good point. Shout out to my Backstreet Boy fans. Dee Dee. Hey, something Christmassy on my vlog! Woo! Wait, why is this for Ian? Cause it's Mariah! Yeah, she's no share. He told me today that... She... That her thighs are as big as a planet? <laughs> yeah, I believe it. No, he said today that he's gonna see her in Glasgow. <laughs> With Fabio? I guess so. Dude, Ian, can you get a phone permanently? It really breaks my heart when I can't talk to you. radio show tacos. So we were talking about like, K-Earth on the Friday video. Now we're talking about Coke. Okay, K-Earth was drunk. <laughs> that was hilarious. That we're referencing, yeah, it made the cut. We're referencing Vlogmas number five. Drunk K-Earth. Is that what it's called? No. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say Coast 345 is like on a roll right now. Charlie Brown Christmas is... My favorite like Christmas movie and soundtrack like what I do is I do Charlie Brown Christmas on Pandora and just like all of the Christmas jazz comes up and it's really good and then I love listening to this album I have it on vinyl and I also have it on DVD I haven't watched it yet did you just say you have it on vinyl yeah I do I got it last year <laughs> for some reason I thought you were talking about what video formats right now. I was like, um, it doesn't come on vinyl. It comes on tape. I have a soundtrack on vinyl. Hello everyone. I debated vlogging today. Um, I wasn't sure if I was up for it, but I'm going to attempt to vlog. I vlogged yesterday. You saw singing in the car, my festiveness. <laughs> so that was that. So this morning I worked and I, um, I posted a blog post, it's called Cats of Europe. While we were traveling we uh, ran into a lot of cats and then once I like went over all of my photos as like a trip as a whole I was like oh this would make a good post. This is a little fun post. And then I also participated in Vegan Hour. It's a UK based chat and I love it. Everyone's so supportive and nice in that chat and basically all you do is just talk about vegan stuff for an hour. So for them it's in the evening, but for me it's like right before lunch, and so I get really hungry. Also, um, because my mom is decorating the living room, she found some of my um, she found some of my Christmas decorations. So I will show them to you. This is my Dollar Tree, no Dollar Spot at Target tree, and then polar beer. You may have noticed this polar bear in a previous vlog. Um, I love polar bears. I have since I was a little kid. It was one of my favorite stuffed animals, a Coca-Cola polar bear stuffy. And so my younger sister Ashley has been giving me polar bear ornaments every year. So this is one of them. 
I like to keep them up all year round. So here's another one. And this one is from my friend Courtney. And this is Timber with Santa Claus. Look how young he looks. It's like in this photo specifically I didn't realize how much he's aged. My future mother-in-law was the person who got this done. And I'm thankful for it. I love it. So because I'm not sure how much I was going to vlog today because I'm going to work on some DIY Christmas gifts. So hopefully it goes well. One of the reasons why I um, stopped vlogging yesterday is because I just get used to this. Twitter chats are like my life. <laughs> Um, I started participating in two other Twitter chats, and one of them is Ambitionista, hashtag ambi Ambitionista, and it is amazing. It is such a, like, a powerful chat to talk about, like, really cool things about, like, like having ambition. Um, they have different, um, subject matters, so last night was about relationships and, you know, being a go-getter and being a hustler and, like, making sure that your relationship is a healthy relationship and you can continue to work towards your career goals. So I really loved that one. And everyone's so supportive and interactive in that chat. I really enjoy it a lot. And then I also participated in Creative Coffee Hour, hashtag Creative Coffee Hour. And I don't know, I mean, basically both of them are for entrepreneurs and creative people, um, but last night, because of the holidays, the subject matter was just this or that, like hashtag this or that, so those were fun. The people were really supportive and kind in that chat too, so I highly suggest both of those. I'll put in the description box more information on both of those, the links to the Twitter account so that you could figure out what time it is for your time zone. Also this is um, this year's ornament from my sister. <laughs> So, actually I actually need to get some string for this dude. Isn't that cute? I think it's all hand painted. Seems really fragile. I got one last year too and it broke. My cat broke it. Not surprising. Coffee link. And then go to text messages and text it to me. Oh, I need to get this out. Well, why is this so bad? I don't know. Where do I look in text message? You go to your text messages and paste it because you just press copy. Oh, I did. Ooh, fancy stuff. So I just made these Gardein fish fillets. I'm fish free. Let's do that. So there it is. I'm gonna put them in a salad. Before, before, after. I think it was Amber from Fettle Vegan who recommended the, these fish fillets, and they're really good. So thanks, Amber. Or it was someone from the vegan food chat, and I don't recall who. But thank you, whoever you are. I need to be better about my time management. I think I was on the computer literally all day between Twitter chats and YouTube videos and blog posts and social media posts and trying to get my website set up. What time is it? It's 7.30. I was definitely looking at the computer at 7 o'clock this morning. I feel like I was very productive. Like, the Twitter chats that I did today were really interesting and I was surrounded by a lot of creative, supportive, primarily women. And I had a good day. Today was a good day. It's just staring at the computer is exhausting. So, oh, and I didn't get to do that DIY Christmas presents that I thought I was going to do because I didn't have something that I thought I had. So, I'm going to have to try and figure that out. My increase in social media presence has resulted in an increase in engagement with people 
internet people and it's been really great. I'm really thankful for that. So if you're watching this video, I'm very thankful for you watching. It's nice to create something and then it actually kind of serves a purpose for people or whether it's entertainment or informational, I appreciate you watching. I am currently drinking a cup of coffee. I mentioned in a previous vlog that I need to have some type of plant-based milk in it in order for me to digest it easily. Um, in, in saying that meaning it upsets my stomach sometimes when the coffee is like really harsh and acidic. I am having black coffee right now because we ran out of milk. Um, I'm having coffee right now because I'm going to play a volleyball game tonight. Um, and it's a 9 p.m. match. Um, I'm used to waking up really early in the morning, and so I go to bed early. And now, <laughs> 9 p.m. is really late. So I'm going to be like doing physical exercise at 9 p.m., getting home at probably 10.30. I'm going to knock out. But I really need to be not looking at the computer. Like, I can feel the strain in my eyes and it's not good. I mean, I want to kind of have more structure in my day where I'm doing specific things at specific times so that I can have specific breaks so that I don't break down. <laughs> so if you guys have any advice on that, I would love to hear it.